Hi, I'm Thomas Kilbright, and I'm a security researcher at IOActive. Um, today I want to present some security research I've done on hoverboards. Today we're going to talk about a security vulnerability project I recently completed on this Segway Mini Pro. First, the attacker needs to launch the IOActive Android application, which is then used to gain unauthorized access to the hoverboard. After a short firmware update, the attacker is able to bypass safety mechanisms, including remotely disabling motors while a rider is in motion. The attacker uses his newly gained access to wirelessly hack the firmware of the hoverboard. With this newly hacked firmware, someone can drive the hoverboard away, change light colors, or even cause a rider to crash by turning it off while they are in motion. We've set up a couple of demonstrations to show what can be done. The first one is what can happen when an attacker disables the device motor. The second scene demonstrates how the owner of the device can be locked out and what else can happen when an attacker takes control. To sum up the vulnerabilities uncovered in this research, what I found was the hoverboard does not check the authenticity of the firmware before applying it. Also, each hoverboard uses the same pin code to authenticate. These bugs were also easily weaponized using the Find Writers Nearby feature within the Segway app, which exposed the location of all nearby hoverboarders. The app exposed the location of every Segway, therefore an attacker could find all nearby hoverboarders and attack them. To prevent this from happening, I recommend that Bluetooth authentication is used, the firmware be encrypted, and that the firmware is checked for integrity and authenticity before being applied. I also recommend that the writer location be hidden from public viewing. This would prevent an attacker from easily weaponizing an exploit like mine. I recommend that consumers stay current with app updates, and that they avoid hoverboards with unnecessary remote functionality. In summary, a writer could be easily hurt by a vulnerability like this, and it's important that companies mitigate these vulnerabilities before releasing products. It's also important that a user is aware of any remote features, and it's generally recommended to avoid any unnecessary wireless or remote features that may exist in their products to prevent uh, vulnerabilities like this from being exploited. 